Oh yeah, what's up everybody? In this video, check this out. I have in my possession the Letman Machete. This is a company out of Germany. The Letman Kayak Company has been around for, I don't know, like 40, 50 years maybe now. And they've been making kayaks, uh, sea kayaks, paddles. They make one of the best paddles I've ever used, the Letman LCS Extreme. That paddle is amazing. What is the Machete? This is their kind of like first real half slice, kind of downriver extreme slalom play boat splat surf you name it this is one of these do all type boats run rapid and looking at the design i really like the design of this boat you can kind of see over it here the overall design and this one's the 85 i will be trying to get a 65 also you guys can jump around i did put chapters down in the bottom here because with this video i want to be very detailed and break down each individual feature because it is a boat unlike what i normally paddle like a piranha jackson liquid lodge dagger their outfitting's kind of the same but in boats like these that I get from overseas like this I really like to break down more from a manufacturing standpoint because I've got such a such a long background in manufacturing of molding kayaks and building kayaks and outfitting and all that I like to really see more of the inner workings and break it all down for you guys so just so you know I did deconstruct it and put it back together to see exactly what they got going on under the hood on this thing there are some things going on with this boat that I absolutely love and there's some going on in it that I absolutely hate so you got to stick around and um, let's get the walkthrough started now this one's the 85 so I'm only going to cover the 85 I'll throw the specs up on the screen right now it looks like the length they're saying it's 270 centimeters which is around 8 foot 10 width wise we're looking at 65.5 centimeters we might as well say it's 26 inches wide volumes um, 71 gallons 71.3 which is 270 liter gallons power weight is they're saying it's up to 120 but which 120 kilograms which is 264 pounds 264 pounds in this boat is a big boy in this boat I'm saying around about 240 to be honest with you would be about right so I would say one 120 to 240 pounds US um, boat weight now boat weight was very interesting on this boat it came in at 44 pounds and check it out because it's very light in the outfitting this is not a heavy half slice at all so this is a very light boat which was very impressive so good job on that on Letman I'm gonna start from stern and work my way to the bow I'm gonna do the deck kind of talk about the deck first so let's look at this real quick look at this stern here ten and a half inches of rocker in the tail which is a lot of rocker for a half slice usually half slices have their rocker low right here and i do love seeing this big 85 embossed in there so that's uh raised up in the mold that's really cool i love it when manufacturers do that that instead of just a little kind of like a thing where you can't really tell what it is moving on up from this if you guys know anything about my channel you know what i'm getting ready to say because oh my god this might be the worst the worst looking drain plug I have ever seen on a kayak, which is absolutely crazy because this is a beautifully designed kayak. Very sexy stylings on it. It looks really good. And then I look down and I see this. Look at the amount of glue that they have some sort of rubberized kind of gasket sealant. They've drilled a hole. It's in a weird location. It's inside the handle cut out. My God, what the heck were you guys thinking? Which is absolutely crazy. If it was me, if this was my boat, I would absolutely take this out and probably weld the hole up. That is, it, it, you guys, if anyone from Letman's listening now, please stop today putting this in. Just stop. I don't want to see another drain plug like this. Not only is it in a weird location for your hand when you're grabbing it, look where it's actually at. The back of my hand goes right in that right there. And it's a decent drain plug. It's not a bad one. It's a screw-in type, but it's the location. And I get why they put it there because it's so thin here. They're not going to be able to put it inside there. And a boat like a half slice like this, I don't even think you need it. I think it doesn't even need to be put on there personally. So if they didn't have anything, this would look really nice. So yeah, enough about the drain plug. I get it. So let's move on to the handles. Check these handles out. This is a aluminum handle, or as we say, aluminum. It's actually cut out with the Letman name on there. Very nice handle. It's arched up. So because it's arched, you don't have to have that big of a cutout and you still have a good amount of room to grab it. They are in molded in inserts. And check out this platform here. This is a big flat platform. It looks like it's actually 
it's dipped in right here. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it's dipped in. I've seen this, and if you guys, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but what happens is the plastic that they ship this boat in, it has these weird lines where the plastic had actually melted to the boat from probably being in the container. I'd got some cleaner, some alcohol, and I tried to clean it up, acetone alcohol. I didn't know it, but this is actually a vinyl graphic. This is not a mold-in logo. So you can see it smeared a little bit. I do like the machete logo here. That is an actual machete blade going down with a little kayaker coming off of it. That looks kind of cool, but just to note that this is a sticker. This is not a mold-in graphic, but I think they should do a mold-in machete graphic instead of like, they could easily put it, I, why are they doing, I, I'm still clueless on why they did four Letman logos. They Letman, 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 Letman. Why are you guys doing four Letman logos? Put your Letman logo there and put a machete graphic right here. These two little screws go into a bracket in the wall. The rim is a large size cockpit rim. I think it was 36 inches by like 20 something inches. So it will be an XL skirt. I did make my large go on it. It works fine. Big rim. I'm not going to cover the outfitting. I'm going to come back to the outfitting. I'm just going to stay with the deck. These screws go into the wall right here. You could easily use one screw. I don't think you need two screws there. Big handle. These are not in inserts. These are these are drilled with a nut and washer on the back, on the back of them, on the bottom. Um, nice handle there i do like that handle these are molded in inserts big handle here i really like that and let's just look at the top of the deck shape real quick i love this squared off look that looks really cool and i absolutely love this deck styling on this this is a beautiful deck styling kind of like a prion style all right that's all i got on the deck let's go ahead and start with the outfitting because the outfitting is a lot different going on and i really want to break that down for you guys so let's start the outfitting now you can see what you're going to get with a boat you're going to get these little shape i've already put shims in there there's shims right there what they are you'll get a little bag of shims they are in the shape of that and you're going to get like six shims that are inside of a little bag that was all i seen in this boat you do not one thing you do not get a wrench to adjust anything so you don't get an allen key to adjust anything but i have a lot of these laying around it's a number four allen key so if you've got a number four laying around you can adjust it not that big a deal i just wish they would throw just a cheap little allen key in there just in case maybe a good location to put one somewhere one thing i do wish they had i wish they would include some bulkhead foam you can see down in there what they've done they've made this little tow cup right here i actually took this bulkhead out and looked at it so that's an adjustable thing and on the back of it i'll throw a picture of what that bulkhead looks like now on the back of it are these two little like brackets and when you unscrew these bolts it lifts that tow cup up one screw right here that you just tighten down your bulkhead accessory loops right here for a throw rope or water bottle throw up or water bottle there i love it when manufacturers give you a lot of options for putting things down you can almost fit a whole gear bag right there that's nice so what's going on here i actually adjusted these i moved them one notch up and to move them you're gonna go you're gonna loosen you're gonna loosen that screw right there it goes you see there's a bolt there and a bolt there to loosen them you're gonna take that all the way out move that to whatever hole you want to go forward on and the same way here you're going to pull that one all the way out and obviously that one you can't use because of the ratchet but you can see you have a series of holes here and it came in it came right there but i moved it one forward to give me a little more grab this boat has your knees very straight so your knees are very in line right here. I sit down in it, it feels good. I moved them one up, it feels great. Ratchet it, they're using Immersion Research ratchets. These are the old Wave Sport design. That's where I first seen them. You adjust it here and you could tell what they figured out. They figured out that this slipped. So they added that little, that little tri-glide right here to stop that slipping. That tri-glide really works to keep webbing from slipping. I don't like how they're running it through this seat. Personally, I'd much rather run it long ways up here. That's why I'd like to, if I had this boat, I would put some sort of loop right here to hold it. This is their back band. You can see their Letman name in it. It's a piece of plastic and it's got the strap running through it. You can see how it works right there. To adjust the hip pads, they don't adjust up and down. They're kind of low on you. You're gonna like, there's a buckle right back here. You undo that buckle and you 
slide in your shims right there and you tighten that buckle up. The hip pads are sewn into the seat pad. There's no way of padding under this seat, but the seat pan and pad felt really comfortable. I like that. It all felt solid. It didn't feel like cheap or flimsy at all. It has a solid feel. I'll throw a picture up on what you need to do to adjust this seat. What you do, you take these bolts all the way out which is very, you know, they're like 50 mil, millimeter boats. There's a block right here that fills this gap up and there's inserts molded into this seat and it slides along this track and then you're gonna run these bolts back down. You're gonna line it up back down into these inserts here. It's not crazy hard. I just, there were, I think there's something better. I think there was a better way of doing that, but you know what? on a boat like this you move your seat once you're probably good there are there are some rubber washers down in there there's some rubber washers down in there a bracket here i like it when they put those brackets disperses that load of those screw heads better they give you a lot of adjustment here you can put some gear back there i don't know if you can see you know it is a half slice so you don't have like a lot of room back here but there's a lot of room right here for getting a, a complete i put my entire koei watershed dry bag down in there and it worked just fine accessory loop right here into the track this stern foam wall runs the entire length of the boat and um it's nice foam it feels good nice nice good closed cell mini cell foam all right so that's all in the outfitting let's go ahead and um roll it over and let's um let's see the business let's see what's going on underneath look at how it starts out very very thin it's widening up about halfway in but what i really like that they've done they maintain this nice taper down and it's rockered up with a little bit of negative rocker there but it's very wide it's a very wide flat tail back here you can see the sidewall here it's very flat so the taper stops about where the bulkhead is and it's a very flat very flat sidewall in all of this area what letman has done there's a taper here and a taper here with a hump right here in the middle and it kind of humps off like that, but it tapers very fast down and it, it's flat here and it tapers off flat here. So your distance between here and here is like that much. To give you guys an idea, if you put that on there, look at the distance between where, like I'm flat on the hull, two to three inches of gap right there. So you're different from here to here. So this boat's probably gonna be very smooth coming off because it's going to get on this flat area right here edging side to side so very interesting the way they've done that and then it goes on up barely see that rail running there and that taper there and then it flattens out very flat and high rockered right there so really cool looking haul i like what they've done with this there's not many half slices out there that i've seen in the usa anyway that i would compare to this this is something very different you guys leave in the comments below if you've got one of these boats or what you think about it I have a lot of people asking me about this boat so i'd like to get your opinion on what you think about it but i will have an on water review coming and give you my my thoughts of what i think about it on the river but overall just looking at it right Right here i like it outside that monstrosity right there please get rid of that all right let's get out of here Woo!